The gear's tight looking right, you got the ice with it A conversation with me will change your life Your wife wants the pipe and when I hit you feel a slight difference in her box, my cock's bigger, I'm hot nigga, she don't rock with you, she got with you for dough, your hoes a thought, if you fuck around, I'll take your mom, kiss her fucker, then I'm taking your hot sister. Your girl, not a sock girl. Your girl, not a sock girl. Your girl, not a sock girl. You shit that chick up in my world You cuff that bitch, I'ma fuck that bitch You in love that chick, we'll suck that dick That slut will kick you out your house Man, fuck your couch, I'm Rick James, bitch I'll take your bitch and fuck her mouth, nigga You bitching cause I'm smashing your hoe You so passionate though, you would laugh for to go on the trip Now you tripping because I got her ass You acting vaginal, bro I'll give her back, blow her back out, then go Nigga, act like you know Shivering is caring, nigga I dare a nigga to swear that niggas can get to his chick I put fear in niggas, they scared this nigga will take the girl and make her my bitch You the type to die for a slut, you lie just to fuck You like to get drunk and high just to get the courage to say hi you a punk You wanna get some ass but then you act like a monk uh -huh. She's stringing you along, it's going on like a monk uh -huh. You spending all this dough, she still ain't touching your junk right. She taking off her pennies and you smelling the funk You say you hate it but you ate it even though that it stunk Nasty ass nigga Your girl, not a sock girl your girl, not a sock girl. Your girl, not a sock girl. You shit that chick up in my world. I'ma keep fucking your lady. My pull-out game's amazing. We ain't having a baby. You bitching, moaning and crying, complaining, acting crazy because I'm fucking your girl. Your punk ass should pay me. Get cash to smash your whack ass chick. You too stupid to realize I'm teaching your whack ass shit. All up in your feelings, you feeling all attached and it's making you go crazy. And maybe if you had that shit we call game, you know you can't control no hoe. No matter if she's bad or right or just so so. You trying to control that bitch? That's a no no. You worried about other niggas? Niggas, that's so homo, pause Niggas wanna be so romantic But they chick be all up on another man's dick I be on that man shit, they be acting manic I don't think these guys know what a man is Y'all thinking you're out here winning with your money and status You're thinking you're rich But how you see yourself as a winner If I can ruin your day by smashing your bitch Yo, what up, 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 What's good, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the motherfucking dating game. Uh, Miles is not going to be here today because Miles is on his way to New York City because, you know, this weekend, man, you already know what it is. We got the fucking Game King's Definition of a Man seminar coming up <laughs> in two days. Coming up in two days, people. In two days, the seminar is coming up. Make sure you guys get your tickets. You feel what I'm saying? And also, if you can't make it to New York City, uh, you know, you can get this, the, the streaming tickets. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys click that link. Click the links to get your tickets. Also, guys, remember, uh, the Bad Boy membership and the Masculine Identity membership goes up today. So... Once I'm finished this uh, live stream, I'm going to basically, the, the price is going to go up in the Bad Boy membership. The Masculine Identity membership price might go up later tonight once Miles, uh, you know, changes it. But right after this live stream, the price will be up. So uh, you got until about 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time to join it. So that's about three hours you got. So make sure you guys get up on the Bad Boy membership and the Masculine Identity membership and join that shit today. You feel what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody in the chat who we got up in here. Let me see who we got up in here. Shout out to, let me see. Shout out to Monogamous Player, Von D, Gaiman, what's up, Walter Watson, uh, Oaktown's Finest, Benjamin Snyder, Paul G, Joe Blast in the motherfucking building. What's going on? The Risen is up in here. Shout out to uh, Chris. Uh, shout out to AJ Lindo. Call me JAT. What up? Unique 79 in the motherfucking building. <laughs> What else we got in here? Bees was popping with you. Kelly Moore is in the fucking building. Shout out to Kelly Moore in the motherfucking building. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Bones. Who else we got up in here? Jadism. What's good? Who else? Ola Femi. Omar Gray. What's going on? Norman. What's good with you? Um, who else we got up in here? Pee Wee was popping. 
man, certified Tyrone, run Queens up in here. Uh, Hayes, what's good, man? We got a lot of people up in here. So today's show, guys, this one right here is going to be some heavy, heavy, heavy fucking game. Heavy game. And before I get into that, make sure that you guys check out the selfish shirts, right? Go to thebadboystyle.com, thebadboystyle.com to get these shirts. You understand what I'm saying? You can get this selfish shirt. You can also get the shirt, uh, Women Love Sex. You can also get the shirt right there. You can also get Mac Lives Matter. You can also get Game Saves Lies. And we have other shirts. We have uh, uh, hoodies, all that other stuff you can get at thebadboystyle.com. Calm, okay, make sure you guys go to that and check that shit out and make that happen. All right. So today's topic, we're talking about five signs. She's never going to have sex with you. Never. Meaning that this is a girl you might go out on a date with. This is a girl you might match with on a Tinder or whatever. This is a girl that you're, uh, you know, trying to hook up with, but sex is never going to happen. And what I'm trying to explain to you guys is there are signs that the sex is never going to happen. I'm going to tell you these signs so that when you're dealing with women, you will know that you're never going to have sex with this girl. You're wasting your fucking time. You understand? Because a lot of times you'll be in situations where you're, you want things to go down with the woman. You want to have sex with the woman. You want to hook up. You want things to, to happen. But it's not going to happen because this woman is not really sexually attracted to you. She could just be using you for, for you know the time, energy, attention, money, whatever it is. So what I'm going to do is I want to break down these signs of a chick actually, you know, basically uh, doing these things that's going to show you that she's never going to have sex with you. <laughs> you understand? And when I say never, I mean, she's just never, it's not going to happen. So I'm sure some of you guys have been in situations where you might've went on, you know, uh, let's say three or four dates with a girl and then it fizzled out, right? She stopped answering your texts or calls or You've been talking to a chick. You've been trying to set up a date. Nothing really happens, right? Or you might have had a girl at your crib and and you you were hoping that sex was going to happen and it just didn't happen, right? And the reason why it was because it was never going to happen, ever. And the thing is that if you understood the signs, you would have charged this girl immediately before you wasted more time hoping that it would happen. You feel what I'm saying? And guys, remember, get on the Bad Boy membership because if we're talking about hooking up, right? Actually, the, the newest membership program is called How to Hook Up with New Women on a Consistent Basis. So make sure that you get on badboymembership.com and check out this program, How to Hook Up with New Women on a Consistent Basis. So you can keep getting chicks in a rotation. Once one falls off, you get a new one. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. You understand? Now let's get into these, uh, you know, to these, uh, five things real quick. And this is, this is in no order of importance. And I got to really break this down for you guys to understand. Cause some of this is, it's not obvious. So, you know, you're not going to really know unless you know what's going on. So I'm going to break this down for y'all and let y'all know what's going on. This is actually like, you know, bad boy membership level, you know, uh, like uh, information I'm gonna give you guys today. So I'm just, you know, wanna spread that game around. Now, this is in no order of importance, but I'm gonna go one through five and gonna talk about each of these. And if guys, if you have a question, put a Q in the chat. If you wanna call up 646-481-3901, 646-481-3901 is the number. All right, so first sign, first sign that a chick is never gonna have sex with you, right? Is she brings up not having sex before the date. She brings up not having sex before the date. Okay. So there's times where you might be talking to a woman, right? You might actually be on a date or in front of the girl. You know, you might be at a bar at a club talking to a girl or whatever. Right. And you might be flirting with her. And there are times where women will say, you know, Oh, we're not going to have sex. So let's say you're flirting with her heavy. You're letting her know you want to have sex. She's like, you know, we're not going to have sex, right? In those situations, there are times where she's saying that because she actually wants sex. She has sex on her mind. And then sex might end up happening because she has sex on her mind. And that's the reason why she's saying that at that moment about, well, we're not going to do this and all that other stuff, right? Now, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a woman bringing up the fact that she's not going to have sex before the date. So what does that look like? What does that mean, right? Now... What happens is, is that, you know, um, 
if you're dealing with a chick, right? And you are, let's say, matching with her on Tinder, right? And you say to the girl, hey, yeah, let's meet up, you know, six o'clock Friday to, to get a drink, right? And then she says to you, okay, yeah, that sounds good, but I just want to let you know, um, you know, sex is not going to happen, right? She just she just automatically says that. So yeah, you're not even in front of each other. You're not on a date and she's letting you know it's not going to happen, right? Or you might be on a call, on a, a phone call with a girl, right? You're trying to set something up and she says, oh, well, I just want you to know that I'm not the type of girl that is going to be, you know, doing anything sexual. So I hope you didn't have any of that in mind, right? She's basically letting you know before the date, before you even see each other, before anything happens, right? That nothing is going to happen. Now, the reason why women will do that, right? Is that those chicks will be in situations where they're talking to you. They realize they're not really feeling you like that, but they still want the attention that you're giving them. They still want to be taken out. They still want things to go down, right? Now, the reason why she is letting you know beforehand is because she wants to see if you're basically still going to take her out, go on a date and do all this other stuff. Because if you do, then she's like, okay, cool. I can get the attention from this motherfucker, but I've already told him I'm not interested. So he may, he might not even try. But the reason why she's saying that in the first place is because she has no interest in really having sex with you. See, what you have to understand is this. When a woman wants to have sex with you, right? When a woman wants to have sex with you, she is not going to make it seem like sex is difficult to get. You understand? Meaning she's not going to make it an issue. She's not going to really make it a problem like that. Right? So what happens is that her even mentioning how she's not going to do it before y'all even get on the goddamn date means that she's already making this difficult even before y'all are on the goddamn date. So this means that she's not really trying to make this happen and she's never going to make this happen because she's already making it difficult from the jump. You guys have to remember that women will use you for sex. I mean, that's for sex. I'm, I'm my mind somewhere else. They will use you for attention. Well, they will use you for sex too. That's a whole nother story. But I wanted to say they'll use you for attention, right? And so what that means is, is that you'll be in situations where even though they don't want to have sex with you, they can just use you for attention. So what she'll say is, I can use this guy for attention, let him know sex is not going to happen. If he continues, if he wants to still see me, I can just chill, have some fun, get some drinks, get some dinner, whatever the fuck it is, and then continue to make shit happen with this guy, even though I'm never going to fuck him. You understand? So if you're in that situation, right, and the chick is already from jump telling you, that ain't going to happen or I'm not that, that type of girl. You just need to charge it to the game. Right? Like, I remember there was this one chick on one of these sites, right? I had, I had a, a match with her or whatever. And then she says, she writes to me in the fucking, um, in the, uh, in the, uh, joints, in the fucking message. She's just like, she's like, oh, you know, uh, I hope you don't expect that I'm going to give you sex or some, some, something to that effect. Right. And, and what happens is, is that they're putting that out there because they want to see if you're going to bite. They want to see if you're going to still try to make it happen. And if you do, then she's won. You understand what I'm saying? If you do, she won. She, she's a winner. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're continuing to deal with her, even though she says, we're not going to do this now. What will happen is most guys who are, for example, like pickup artists or guys who are thirsty or guys who like to chase, they'll be like, but now, nah, bro, you can still go out and then, you know, like try to do this and do that and all this other stuff. What I'm telling you is she's not going to fuck you. Because like I said, when women are sexually interested, they're sexually attracted. They're not doing anything to make you think it's difficult for sex to happen. In fact, they're going to make it as easy as possible because they want the dick. Dick is a gift. You understand? Because they want the dick. So because they want the dick, what's going to happen is, is that 
they are going to basically make it easy. So if a chick is telling you before the date, yo, you know, we're, this ain't going to happen. She's not trying to fuck you. Right. So that's number one. Now, number two. Now, number two is a little bit more complicated or complex, you can say, because most guys wouldn't notice this or don't even realize this or whatever. So the second sign a chick is never going to have sex with you. Hold on. Shout out to my girl, April MC in the motherfucking <laughs> building. Shout out to April. Oh, let me, let me, let me pin the joint. Let me pin the joint at the top. Let me replace the pin joint at the top. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now, the second sign that a woman is never going to have sex with you is she randomly hits you up after you've been trying to get at her for a while. So she randomly hits you up after you've been trying to get at her for a while. So how does this look? What, let me paint the picture for you guys. Let's say you meet this girl at a party or even a girl you could have met online or whatever the fuck it is, right? And let's say, or let's just, let's just use the example. You meet a girl at an event or in the street or whatever, and y'all exchange information, get her information. And let's say you text her and you say, hey, what's up? This so-and-so from yesterday, like we should get together and, and hang out and get a drink or whatever this weekend, right? So you send her a text and you don't hear from her, right? So a day goes by, two days go by, three days go by, right? Four days go by, five days go by, six days go by. And then she hits you up. She responds to your text and she's like, oh, hey, what's up? Right. And then so now let's say you try to set up a date and you set up a date. And then on the day to date, she flakes. Right. And then you just like kind of forget about it. You just charge the game, whatever it is. And then a month later, out of the blue, she hits you up. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm so sorry about last time. You know, what's going on? Like, we should hang out, blah, blah, blah. So now you're like, oh, cool, because you, you you think she's bad. You want to get some shit popping with her. So even though she flaked last time, right, and it's been a month, you still like, all right, well, fuck it. Let me try to make something happen, right? If you go out with this girl or interact with this chick, she's not going to have sex with you. Now, the reason why she's hitting you back randomly after that month or the reason why it took her like five days to hit you up is because she has low interest in you. You understand? So when a woman has low interest in you, what she does is that she pushes you all the way to the back. Right. So you are the guy she'll call when the guys she really wants aren't available. You're the guy she's going to hit up. When the guy she really wants basically played her or broke her heart. You're the guy she's going to hit up when all of the options that she really wants dries up and she got nothing else to do. And the main reason why she's hitting you up is because she knows that you're really interested in her. Right? So now what happens is, is that she's basically only going to use you to use you for your attention so that you can boost her self-esteem, her ego, all that other stuff up. That's why you're there. You're not there for her to have sex with you because she's not sexually attracted. Because if she was sexually attracted, she wouldn't wait five days to holler back at you. She wouldn't have flaked on the date. She wouldn't have took a whole month to get back at you. You see what I'm saying? So this woman's never going to have sex with you. <laughs> you see what I mean? So those type of chicks, right? You just need to charge them to the game because her actions are already showing you how much low interest she has. You see what I'm saying? Her actions are showing you this. She has super low interest. And this is why she's, you know, taking forever to get back to you. This is why she's randomly hitting you up, you know, after a long period of time. And, no, and y'all have never done anything. Like, it's not like this is a chick where y'all went out. Y'all hooked up at one point or y'all went out 
and you know y'all was making out doing all this other extra shit you guys haven't even really done anything you might have met her one time got information and that was the last time you saw her or you've matched her on the dating app and then you've exchanged information and then uh you know you basically like was trying to make something happen and nothing really happened and understand that those women you're never going to have sex with because they are not attracted to you all right so that's number two now let's move on to number three now, the third sign that she's never going to have sex with you is she tries to shame you for bringing up sex. She tries to shame you for bringing up sex. Shout out to my dude, K Zagging 20 in the building. Shout out to my dude. All right. K Zagging's going to be in New York City. He's going to be at the Game King Seminar this Sunday. So make sure you guys check that out. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys make it happen. Right? So now, yeah. So the third one is she's going to try to shame you when you start talking about sex, bringing up sex and all that other stuff. So let's say you out with a girl. You know, let's say you um randomly um hollered at some chick at the bar. You on a first date with a girl, whatever. Right? And if you bring up sex, like you want to have sex with her right? She's going to shame you. And she's going to basically have this sort of attitude, like, how dare you? You're disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's crazy. Why would you, why would you even say that? I can't believe you, you would treat a woman that way. You understand what I'm saying? How could, how could you make that happen? Like, what's wrong with you? Why? I mean, can't, can't you just be a gentleman? What's wrong with you? So she's going to come at you with that type of stuff, that type of energy, right? And she's doing that because she doesn't want to have sex with you. Remember, when a woman wants to have sex with you, she makes sex easy to get. So by her shaming you, she's trying to remove the possibility of sex between you and her. But the reason why she's there is because she wants attention, right? So if you're talking to this girl and she's like shaming you heavy because you're trying to be sexual, understand she's never going to have sex with you. See, it's one thing for a woman to, let's say you say something sexual and she like seems sort of like shy about responding to that. She feels like awkward that you said it. That's one thing. But if she's like shaming you and, you know, how dare you? That that's she, you understand what I'm saying? She's not trying to actually um have sex with you. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You understand? But let me see. Oh, I think I see somebody calling up. Um, hold on one second. All right, let me go to to uh six six one nine. Six one nine was popping. Who this? Yo, what's going on? It's Dominic. I donated. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's going on? <laughs> what's good? What's good? So I'm in, I'm in kind of a, a weird situation because uh, I've been going on a lot of first dates mm. that like we end up like, you know, kissing everything is cool. Mm. But then for some, it doesn't really go much further than that. And I'm trying to figure out like what I could be doing wrong or, you know, how I can make it stick. So when you kissing these girls on first dates, uh, how long you be kissing them? Uh, it kind of depends. I mean, the last girl I, I went on a date with, uh, we kissed for maybe like I don't know five minutes, and then I had to go. So I said, "All right, I threw up." So wait, wait, where'd you where'd you have to go? What happened? Where'd you have to go? I had to go to work, but like we we hung out right before that, just on mm -hmm. our first date, and then I had to leave. Okay, so so you don't you don't go on dates where you could like you have time to like take them back to your spot afterwards. I mean that's a good idea, but nah, th that time I didn't do that though. No. Okay, so 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 the other times that you were out with these girls, you always had to go to work afterwards. Just because of my schedule, usually that's how it ends up playing out. Like the last few times mm. I went on dates, that's literally what I did. I go right before I went to work, I hung out with them and I left. Mm. And so what you're saying, so are you saying, because I want to understand the question more. So you're saying that you're not able to hook up with women or you're not able to like get to see women 
more than once? Like, what's the what's the situation? Get to see it more than once. So you say that you go down on a date, y'all might kiss, do whatever, and then after that, you never see her again. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, uh huh. And so, so do you text them and call them, and they just don't respond? Nah, not not like we'll we'll make a date or something. Like for example, the last girl I hung out with. Mm. Uh, you know, like it was like an hour date. We hung out, mm. uh, we made out a little bit, and then I was like, "All right, cool. Well, uh, you know, what are you doing Saturday?" It was like, it was Sunday. We hung out. I was like, "What are you doing Saturday?" Which is next week. Mm. She's like, "Oh, nothing. I'm free." I was like, "All right, cool. Well, uh, you know, I'll see. You. I'll hit you up on Friday or whatever. We'll get mm. together again." She's like, "All right, cool." Mm. And then um, I ended. I, I hit her up. I was like, "Yo, what's good with you?" And then like, she took like, it, I could just tell like it was it wasn't gonna happen. Like she took like twelve hours to respond to shit. Mm. Right. So she like we made eight, but. She like told me like a day later, like, "Hey, can we actually not do it that day because of this, this, and that?" And I was like, "This, she's just playing games." So I just stopped. Right. They say they say in the chat in the chat that your breath stink, probably. <laughs> so <they> say, <laughs> but, uh, I don't I don't know if it's that. So so let me ask you. So how many women has this happened in the past? Like, you know, since since January, since this past this year came up. So how many how many times has it happened? It's happened. Probably like four times. Four times? Okay. And so so you're trying to tell me that you've never had a chick hit you up after the first date or or respond to you after the first date ever in your life? No, I, I wouldn't say never, but mm. like as far as this year is concerned, nah. Like mm. it hasn't. I, it's happened one time. One time out of like the four. And me and the other girl, we ended up fucking and then she I found out she was married, so it fizzled out, you know, but yeah, that's how it went though. So then, bro, it just you just need to go out with more women, bro. You know what I'm saying? You only did that with four chicks, and you said one of them you smashed. One of them I smashed, but then like even before that, like last year, mm. it was happening kind of a lot too. So mm. that's why I'm like, this isn't this doesn't seem normal. So so let me so let me ask you this: so when you're on these dates with these women, are you making out with them like actually tongue in mouth? kissing or is it just usually like a good night peck on a kiss i see you later type shit no we're, we're making out we're making out okay so then so then what's the issue so you so you're trying to tell me that 90 something percent of the women that you go on first dates with you kissing mm-hmm. them doing all this other shit and then you text them and, and they don't respond or nothing nothing happens you don't you don't say to them like you're trying to so when you when you tell these girls um uh when you leave these girls, do you plan on f- like fucking them? Like, what did you? What do you say to them? What do I say to them? Like, right before I'm about to leave? Yeah, because you like if you're going to leave, you know what I'm saying? They saying you're a bad kisser in the, in the chat. It's crazy. So <laughs> he's saying all this crazy stuff about you. But no, this is what I'm saying. When you're leaving the date, because I'm because I'm I'm thinking there's something you're doing in the dates for this to always be like an issue. You see what I'm saying? What are y'all talking about yeah, on the yeah. dates? What y'all, what's the conversation like? Where do you go? Like, where are you taking these girls? Um, so, like, the last one, we went to this place called Town Square, and we just, we really, like, because it ended up raining, so we just kind of, we got in my car, we were just kicking it, talking mm. for, like, an hour, just, and we were just keeping it light. Like, I was just getting to know her, mm. she was getting to know me, I'm flirting, you know, I'm touching her and all that. Mm. And it seems cool. Like, it seems like everything is straight. Mm. We kiss, that's cool. Like, mm. we making out and all that. Mm. But I don't get into like heavy topics or nothing. Like I don't talk about nothing crazy, right? Um, you mm. know, for whatever reason, like it just doesn't stick, and uh, I don't know. Well, it so what I what I'm thinking is this is either like like I think April was saying in the chat, maybe they think you're a bad kisser, or what it what it could be. I think too is that there there's something going on in this situation where. Because like if you're if you're kissing these girls, they're kissing you back. And usually you say when you kiss them for like how long? Like how long are you done? Because the last girl you said five minutes. So what's the other what happened with the other chicks? Uh last one was five minutes. The one before that was about five minutes. Mm. The one before that, um, we kissed for maybe like twenty minutes. Uh but mm. that was a little like I stopped doing that because I feel like that was a little too much. But mm. right. Yeah, like the last three and it's like the last three in a row this has happened to. Okay. And then before that, which is the fourth one, that's the one that I ended up fucking and she was married. So it feels without whatever, whatever she was cheating, you know, all that bullshit. Mm. Right. So, um, so is there, is it possible for you to go on date? Like you only work, like you work in the evening? Like what's your work schedule? Yeah. Well, I work, I work two jobs. 
and I don't really have days off like that unless it's holidays. So, but like the time I have in between, that's the time I'm usually going on these dates. So wait, so wait, so wait, 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 wait. So what's your wait? So what's your work schedule? No, I'm saying I work two jobs. No, that's what I'm saying. What is your work? What is your work schedule though? Tell me the work schedule. So like I work in the morning from around like nine to about one o'clock, and then I go from and then I work again from about three uh, until ten. So. Okay, and 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 you don't got no days off. It's seven days a week. Unless it's like a holiday. Yeah. Okay. Do these women know this? Uh, I mean, when I, when we talk about the type of stuff, yeah, but sometimes like we don't get to that job mm-hmm. conversation. Okay. So, <laughs> so that's probably what the issue is, bro. They know you ain't got no time. You see what I'm saying? Because if you on if you on a date and you telling a girl, yo, yeah, I work from this time to this time and that time, to, they they calculating all that in their head. So then it's like they're like, well, why should I continue to see this guy if he's not gonna have time for me? But like, I barely talk about like I've only talked about that with one of the four girls that's happened to. The two didn't even know that. So I, you know, I I rarely ever talk about stuff like work and all this mm-hmm. other shit. Like I usually don't even talk about that with with any of them. And then so 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 the girl that you the last girl you so you spoke to and you were setting up another time to meet. What did you say in the text? Uh, I don't have the thread anymore, but I was like, uh, I was like, yo, what's up? Uh, are we still on for Saturday? Let's, let's do this or that. I yeah, but it what, was it, right, but that's what I'm saying. What what was what were you saying though? What was the thing? What was the plan? What was y'all gonna do? Uh, oh no, I asked her to come over. I was like, hey, because uh, yeah, yeah, on the date, I was like, hey, like uh, you know, like I'm really feeling you. I think we should uh, you know mm. get together and I'm gonna get you naked. I said something like that. Mm. It's about sex, right? She, she agreed to it on the date, mm. and then I was like, and then uh, she, I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna hit you up on Friday for Saturday. And uh-huh. then, and then Friday came, and that's when I was like, "Hey, let's, you know, are we are we good for this time?" She's like, "Oh, she said yeah, but, you know, like, she, like, like I said, she was being real. I could just tell she wasn't fucking with it." No, but she said like, she said like, yeah. So then, what happened? So then, what what was the issue? Yeah, so I hit her up. She said yeah, like twelve, eighteen hours later, however long it took, which was a long time. I was like, "All right, cool. I'll see you then." And then, uh, like, like maybe like, like the morning of. She's like, hey, uh, I got this this thing going on, so I can't make it. Blah blah blah. Mm. She would do it in like two weeks, and I was like, what the fuck? So I just I stopped talking to her. Well, bro, it's a numbers game, bro, because you only told me about like four chicks, bro. So it's like you got to you got to you got to do more. You got to come to me with like, yo, I went out on like seventy five dates, and only two girls hit me back. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you got to talk to more women, bro, because. From what you're saying, if everything that you're saying is what happened and you're not leaving anything out, you just got to talk to more women, bro. Okay. Because 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 everything sounds like you're doing everything, you know how you're supposed to do it. So you know what I'm saying. So it's not like there's an issue with what you're doing, right? You just got to do talk to more women. You see what I'm saying? Because you, you just told me about the last three girls, really, because the one of the chicks you smashed. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you're basically telling me about three chicks, you know what I'm saying? Which is, which is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That makes sense. I, I just, like I said, cause like before last year, mm. it was happening a lot too. Where like I get on first dates, we make out, everything seems cool and then nothing. Mm. So but and that's more so like a thing with just numbers and just talking to more yeah, because, girls. And, but yeah, because also I need, yeah, because I would need to know, how much is that happening? Because for example, a nigga could go out with fucking 10 girls, you know what I'm saying? 15 girls this week and then fucking nine, 10 of them won't get back to them. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just part of the numbers game, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's just, it just is what it is. You see what I mean? But this is what I'm saying. Like, and, and especially if you're doing everything correctly when i say correctly meaning that you're not doing anything goofy like fucking you know like acting me or you know like just doing some weird ass shit you know what i'm saying because i'm just that's why i was asking you all these questions i'm like okay what are y'all talking about you know like what what is going on in the situation so everything you're saying sounds like it's all good unless there's something you ain't telling me but if everything you're saying is what happened then you just gotta just holler at more chicks 
Okay, fair enough. You see what I'm saying? Because because basically what you're saying is this: you're going on a date with these girls. The girls have some sort of some sort of uh, uh, sexual interest in you to be making out with you. You see what I'm saying? Right. So then if they're yeah, making out with you, they have some sort of sexual interest, but then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the chicks don't want to hit you up or whatever, whatever the situation is, right? Then that's the issue. But you've only really told me about three women. You didn't even tell me about, like, I don't know about all the other stuff that happened last year or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, how many, like, what's the numbers on that situation? For last year? Right. Um. So... And, and I don't have like exact numbers, obviously, but mm. I was saying the span of like maybe three months, mm. I went on probably like seven dates where that happened. Like, I'm not talking about because I went on dates with the girls, like, you know, they obviously act goofy, they don't kiss you, whatever. But from the ones that like we did make out, and mm. I probably said, said something up later, mm. I probably did, I probably went out with about, I want to say there was seven, and then I ended up hitting one of them. Mm. Okay, so what's what's the issue though? That's not there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I just well, like I said, because like the other six, like I just want to know if there's something I was doing wrong. Because I'm like, I'm going out all these bitches and they're kissing me, but then I'm not hearing mm. from them. Am I doing? Am I fucking up in some way? Or that's why I was, you know, what I'm saying? nah. That's just and, and this is the thing though too. You gotta understand, man. This is why. Look, see, the thing is this, right? When you mm-hmm. when you're out with these women, right? What you want to, right. what you want to really do is, and this is probably, you know, issue because of your time, which is probably you might need to meet chicks like after your work or whatever, is that you want to try to get them that night. You understand what I'm saying? So, so yeah. the thing is, is that like, meaning like when you, when you're on a date with a chick, what you're trying to do is you're trying to pull her that night. Even if you don't get it that night, the energy needs to be, we're kissing to get to this next situation because you could say to a girl hey come back to my place she'd be like oh no i don't know blah blah, blah. okay well listen i want to continue what we did here on this other day you feel what i'm saying or you know tomorrow or next week or whatever the fuck was, was going to be you see what i'm saying but right. the fact that but the fact that you are in a situation where you know you ca- you're not going to be able to pull her right that also affects how you're interacting in the situation you see what I'm saying? Uh, so wait, right. So when yeah. you know that you it's and it's not a possibility for it to happen, it's you're not gonna act the same way if it is a possibility to happen, which creates a different dynamic. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? I didn't know you were supposed to like I thought you could just like kiss her and then leave and then be like, all right, I'll see you next time. Right. And not have to like not, not try to pull her that night. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It's not it's not that you always have to pull her that night. What I'm saying though is is that the energy should be it could happen that night and you should be trying to. It's not that you even have to make it happen. But what I'm saying is because you know it can't happen, right? What right. happens is, is is that your what happens is is that it's a different situation. Just like, for example, some women on purpose, because we talk about signs of chicks not gonna have sex or whatever, but there's times where women on purpose don't shave their legs. For the day, right, meaning right. they'll wear jeans. You don't know that they legs ain't shaving, shaving, but they're doing that on purpose so that you know what I'm saying. So that they they're like, well, I'm not, I'm gonna make sure I don't fuck this guy tonight. So so I'm gonna shave my legs. So now so now she's like, it's really less likely this is gonna happen. You understand? Know so you're in a situation yeah. where it's less likely that this is gonna happen. Does that does that make sense? So this is what I'm saying. Where this is what I'm saying. Where part of that is creating a different dynamic and situation on that on that date you see what i mean because yeah. part because because even when we talk about sexual tension part of sexual tension the tension is there because you don't know whether or not it's going to happen both of y'all don't know but there's the tension there because it could but if you know it can't you're probably not there's probably not really sexual tension you see what i'm saying okay that makes sense Right. So, so, so are, are you? Saying, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What was you gonna say? No, I was gonna say. So the fact that, like, if I do try it, that's gonna make more sexual attention because I'm actually pushing in that direction, and it might help the situation later. Is that what you're saying? Even if it doesn't happen. Right. Well, I, this is what I'm saying to you: is that you should be in a situation where that you create it to where it's possible, so you can say, "Hey, listen, I gotta go to work real quick," but. You should meet me after work. And then what you see what I'm saying? We'll go back to, we'll go to my place. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, is that you're at least 
going in the direction of that. Whereas if you're just on this date and okay, we're kissing, we're kissing, we're doing all this other stuff, but you know, you can't pull her back. You know that I'm I'm a pro or you feel like I'm gonna have to wait till next week to see her and all this other stuff. So that creates, you cut off the the tension. There's nothing going on there. So then you're just another guy that they went out with to get a drink and they made out a little bit and it's whatever. It's not, it's not, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not anything that, that, that feels like they need to go back to you. You understand? Like, the, 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 what makes the woman want to go back to you is the anticipation of what could happen based off of what she just left. You see what I mean? So this is why sometimes yeah. even though you don't get it on the, on the first date or things don't happen on the first date, it's that tension that makes her want to go back to it because they want to continue that situation. But if it's a situation where you're just kind of like, okay, yeah, we're here, you know, we're, I got I know it, it has to be cut off and it's whatever then there really isn't that much incentive for her to go back and make it go down. You see what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. That right. Makes sense. So I feel like, I feel like what it is is that you have to find ways to, to be able to like go in the direction of sex and enticing and, and, and making them. And that's going to be the thing that's enticing to want her to go back to you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Right. So, so I would, right. So I would say for you right now is, you know, when you're out here talking to these girls, going on dates, flirting and all that other stuff, right. Still, it's not that you have to have sex with a girl on the first date, but that, that energy of, is there a way that this could happen should be there? Because let me ask you a question. If you could have sex with them, would you on the first date? Yeah, I would. Right. So that's the type of energy you should bring. But right now, the energy you're bringing is I can't have sex with you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So what type of what type of vibe are you going to bring when you already have said this ain't going to happen? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you see what I'm saying? So that that's what you got to understand. All right. OK. All right. For sure. And then uh, just a follow up question, mm-hmm. if you don't mind. Right. With, like with that whole pulling, like trying to get girls to fuck on the first night thing. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think it'll be a situation with certain girls where it's like, because you tried to hit the first night, they wouldn't want to talk to you because they feel like they don't want to be treated like a slut or some shit. Or is that just something that? No, that usually not, only not. Nah, it usually only happens if if it's a if it's a hookup straight from like the app or you just randomly met a chick at a bar. You see what I'm saying? Like if you're on a date and then you have sex, it's different than just meeting a girl to have sex or just randomly, you know, going straight to sex. It's two different, two different uh situations. So in, in those situations where Uh-oh. you just randomly meet the girl to have sex, like let's say you was on an app, you told her to come through to your house, she came through to your house, you got fucked. That's different than you actually going out, meeting, going to get a drink, socializing, doing all the other stuff, and then you have sex. You see what I'm saying? Because it started out as y'all getting to know each other, right? <laughs> and then having sex versus it just being a straight up hookup. So that so those are interpreted in two different ways. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. All right, for right. sure. You're looking out. All right, brother. I appreciate the call, bro. All right. Uh, so let me go to uh four one two four one two. What's popping? Who this? Hey, Mister Carter. This is AT calling. Man, what's going on? What up, bro? What's popping with you? All right, you know I definitely donated, of course. All right, all right, that's what's up. What's going on? Um, you know, just I guess going to the the caller you were talking to, it 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 sounded like you know it definitely wasn't enough ladies because I'm like, you know, I, I know where I told you a while back where I actually kept numbers mm-hmm. of how many women you know I talked to, how many times I got their number, how many right. dates, and I went from where I got 86 girls number in one year, mm. asked them all out, but I only ended up meeting 30 of them. So right. that was 56 girls that flaked, stood me up, gave mm. me some wishy-washy answer, just ghosted. Right. So it just seemed like he wasn't doing enough volume because it's like you're it, you're just going to run into that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I think that's that's see when when guys when guys uh think about the numbers game, when we talk about the numbers game. A lot of y'all don't really understand what we really mean about the numbers game, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, he's like, oh, well, this happened with three girls. It's like, bro, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to I used to go out on three first dates in a day. You see what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, like, it would be a Saturday. I would meet a chick at two. I meet another chick at five. And I meet another chick at, like, nine. You understand what I'm saying? All in one day. 
You see what I mean? And so the thing is, is that a lot of guys don't realize that you got to put up those numbers in order to get the ret- a certain amount of return. And that, that's with basically anything. You see what I'm saying? Any type right. of shit that you're doing. You see what I mean? Right. And then also, I'm in the same position as him. I work two jobs. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so I am busy. But I've also, you know, made it a point to still make sure one, I try never to go on a date with a girl before I have to go to work because if it's going well, mm. and it's like you interrupt what's going on, like oh well, I gotta go. Right, and exactly. They might be ready. They might be ready to you know go back or hook up with mm-hmm. you. So I always do it afterwards. And he said he gets off at at ten. I mean, there's still slots open at ten o'clock at night. That's not exactly that right. It ain't that late. You'd be like, look, meet me at ten thirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's get this shit cracking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. But yeah, just as far as like the signs, man, like everything you were saying, as far as that, I've encountered that, you know, tenfold, mm. they take forever to get back to you. Mm. Uh, you know, like you said, putting you on the back burner, mm-hmm. um, just saying, oh, giving me, you know, attitude or shaming me like, oh, well, you just want to hook up. Right. You know, aren't you too old for that to just mm-hmm. want to have sex right off the mm-hmm. bat? You know, all kinds of bullshit. So I, I definitely have, you know, encountered that tenfold. And it's just like, okay after it happened so many times and then, you know, listen to information like yourself and everybody, mm. that's when I started to understand. It's like, okay, they're clearly not feeling me. Right. And it's just time to move on. Like I had a, a situation happen two weeks ago, a girl I had talked to made plans with in 2021 mm. at the end of 21, like we we're supposed to meet. Then she just flaked. I don't know where it was like, okay, no problem. Right. She hits me up two weeks ago, you know, it's 2023, like saying, Oh, Hey, you know, sorry, uh, life just got busy. Mm. I had a lot going on then. It's like, uh, you had a lot going on for a year and a half? Right. But okay. Um, then she was like, hey, you know, I apologize. Can we have a do-over? Right. And she was like, can we meet up for dinner and coffee? Mm. Now, my thing is, and maybe, you know, I wanted to ask you about this. If a girl flakes on me or wastes my time, but when, if they ask for a do-over, I instantly say, that's fine. You're paying, either invite them over mm. or you're paying for dinner. Right. Mm-hmm. and I've had a lot of girls say, well, I don't do that. And so at that point, I'm like, okay, clearly you were going to waste my time again. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, do you think that that's like a, a, a proper way to do it, or how would you go about it if a girl comes back to you asking for a duo? Yeah, well, the thing is, is that, you know, what I usually do is is that the, when a chick comes back, it, it has to go straight to sex. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Like, okay. basically, listen, uh, could you come over, let's hook up, or we're going to go to this place, hook up, whatever it's, it's straight to sex. And the thing, and the reason why is because see, whenever you're dealing with a woman in the first place, what you're seeing or what you're trying to see is, is there, is, is there sexual interest in there? Because if there's not sexual interest, then what are we, what are we talking for? Right. Why am I interacting with you? So if, if I've been sort, if you've been trying to make something happen with a chick, and then she sort of like fell off or she's like, you know, trying to come back in a situation now, it's like, okay, cool. Well, listen, come meet me so we can do it. And then if she's trying to do anything besides that, it'll show you why she was coming back at you. You understand what I'm saying? And usually, and usually a lot of times when they come back at you like that, it's usually not because they want to do you, but it's because they're, they're really just trying to use you for the situation. Now, are there times where, um, you know, a chick will come back in a situation and you could, you could, you know, have sex with her and it could go down that's it's very rare that will happen in that type of situation. But most most of the times it ain't going to happen because usually if it was going to happen or she was interested in making it happen, that would have been something that she would have done prior or beforehand. It wouldn't have had to take this long. It wouldn't have been too much this much of a runaround and all that other goofy shit. You see what I'm saying? Right, OK, right. right. And, and it's not that I that I offer, you know, to go out or anything, mm. whenever that it's the girl saying, well, let's meet for dinner or drinks. And I'm just like, right. Okay, mm. fine. You're paying for it. Right. Exactly. And they, you know, they get an attitude. So I'm, that's where I started to learn. Okay. You were just bullshitting because if you were really serious, you would be okay with that. Cause you wasted my time. Exactly. Right. And see, and, and the reason why they're not okay with that is because they expect you to do it <laughs> so that, so that they can get attention, time, energy, money out the situation because they're really just using you. You see what I'm saying? Because you, you guys got to understand the same way where like men generally will like in some cases, right? Use women for sex. Like, oh, I'm just going to hit her up because I'm trying to fuck. Women will hit you up because they need an ego boost. You understand? They need that guy or those guys 
who are going to be useful to them in the sense of basically making them feel better about themselves. You understand? Giving them the attention. Oh, you know, well, let me get this guy. or Hopefully he'll take me out to dinner. Show me a good time. I'll get dressed up and I'll look nice. And I'll have a guy who I know is sexually attracted to me so that I can feel good and feel sexy. You understand? Because maybe that guy that I was with uh, who stopped calling me, I'm sad about that. Or, you know, it's been a while since I actually had uh, some, some attention from a man. So let me call this guy who I feel is interested and see if I can make that happen. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. Okay. Um, one question I had, and I'll jump off, is mm. that, you know, I'm getting to a point now where I've been, you know, divorced over seven years, going on eight. So, mm. you know, casual dating, hooked up with girls. Right. But I would like a situation kind of like yours, like I mm. said, get where it's like one, you know, main girl, but mm. still be open and maybe have like one, you know, on the side see every now and then. But the issue I'm struggling with is because I've dated so much, kind of seen the dark side of it, you know, hooked mm. up with woman that was married, girls in relationships, mm. been with girls, like all the stuff you talk about where they show you texts from other dudes that they're just playing me while they're hooking up with you. Right. I struggle with going back to, you know, wanting to get in that relationship type thing because I'm like, I've seen the dark side mm. and it's like, how do I not just keep, you know, I guess looking at that or thinking about that, or like, you know, worried about how they're going to play me or get over on me mm. to actually put myself, you know, to be able to get into a relationship, even if it's, you know, open mm. or anything. Well, that that's actually the best uh, situation to, to get back into, meaning that you get back into it, knowing what to expect or knowing or having the awareness of what it is, you know what I'm saying? Or what's going on. So the thing is, is that you get into these situations or relationships, but you're totally focused on what you want in that situation and be, be realistic about what can happen. So meaning that most guys who, uh, you know, are naive, they're like, Oh, I want a girl who's like, just going to like, you know, uh, uh, she's, she's going to be like this perfect woman. She's never going to do this type of thing, or this is never going to happen. And, you know, I, I you know, it's going to be this perfect situation and she's going to be this, the greatest girl who's going to do it. And, and so they have this sort of fantasy, right. About what the woman is going to be for them in the situation versus when you understand this stuff, like you do, right. What happens is, is that now you can say, okay, what do I want in a relationship in dealing with the woman, how do I want the to, 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 to structure this? And then you structure it under the umbrella of the knowledge you have of dealing with women and how women are so that you can get the benefit out of what you want. So for example, you say, you know what? I want, um, a, B and C, uh, in a relationship. So then you say, okay, this woman could give me a, B and C. I can have this with this, the, uh, a, B and C with this particular situation. But at the same time, I'm not going to be naive and think that she could never go. I'm not going to be naive and think that she could never cheat. I'm not going to be naive and think that, you understand what I'm saying? Like you got all of these things that you know is the reality, but at the same time, you just focus on making sure whatever you want to happen is happening in the situation. So you got to do both things out at once. The problem with most guys is, is that they want a certain thing and then they have a fantasy about how the woman is supposed to be. You understand? And that's not how shit works in reality. And so what happens is that when you have that fantasy and then shit hits the fan because you you're ignoring the reality of it, that's when you have a lot of turmoil and fucking, uh, you know, like like feelings towards the situation and you're upset and pissed off. But if I already know that women will be emotional about certain things or get jealous about certain things, if I already know that a woman is only with me because it benefits her, if I already know that um, you know, a woman could leave at any time, then I'm not worried about that. Cause I already know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not even stressing that, that it is what it is. All I'm thinking about is, okay, you can leave at any time. Cool. But while you're here though, I need a, B and C, you understand? I understand that you can cheat or whatever it is, but before you cheat, are you doing a, B and C? You see what I'm saying? That's what that's all you need to fucking worry about. <laughs> you see what I mean? Is she doing what she needs to do while the situation is what it needs to be? That's it. Okay. And in the reality is I've had that with a couple of girls mm. where it was like, okay, it was really good situation. Mm. Their problem with me was because 
I was okay with it being open or wanted it to be open mm-hmm. and they didn't want that. So they ended up leaving, you mm-hmm. know, meeting somebody that wanted monogamy. Mm-hmm. They're like, I would have been with you if you just didn't want it to be open. Right. And then that's not, that's not the right chicks. <laughs> you understand right. what I'm saying? Okay. That's all that right. is. That ain't the right women for it. Cause then they, because what it is is that they're basically saying, I'm not willing to submit. Submission means under the mission. I'm not willing to be a part of the mission that you have going on. That's all that means. Because any woman who's really, really about it, right? She's about it because she sees that much value in you in order to be about that type of life or to be about whatever you're trying to be about. You see what I'm saying? Because she sees that it benefits her to be with you. You see what I'm saying? So if she's like, man, I see this, this, this huge benefit um, to, to be with this guy, I'm rolling with what he's doing because I understand the benefit I get out of it. A lot of times when women are trying to compromise with the man, what happens is that she is basically compromising with herself also because she's like, damn, well, you know, he's not really the type of guy I really want because if he was right, I just do what he says. You see what I'm saying? But usually what will happen is is that the woman will compromise with the guy that she doesn't really want, but then it's, she's able to compromise because he's doing what she wants. And so he's, he's not having her follow his lead. They're like a equal partnership couple. You see what I'm saying? And so, so she's monogamous with her man, right? So let's say you wanted, let's say you wanted this situation to go down. She's like, but I want you to be monogamous. The reason why she wants you to be monogamous and not just follow you into a non-monogamous situation is because that particular woman may not have seen that much value in you. So she's like, well, I don't value you enough to just follow you. You understand? So I need you to give me something back. I need you to give me something that I want or that I feel or I deem is worth being in that relationship with you. So I feel like it'll only be worth being in a relationship with you if we have this monogamous situation. Because I don't see enough value in you to follow what you're trying to do. That's all that really means. It's just like when you say to a girl, hey, let, come to the, come get a drink with me. And she says, oh, but can we get dinner instead? Basically, what she's saying is I don't see value in you to just follow what you're saying. So I'm going to come with my own shit and expect you to do what I'm saying. That's that's all. That's how it works. Okay. Okay. I got you. Right. So you got to find a woman that, right. right. Yeah, I guess if they were really feeling me, they would have been okay with continuing as it was. Exactly, because they want they want to keep that situation going. And what ha- and this is the thing that 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 you got to understand about women is that when the women have high interest in you, right, and they really want you, the thing they fear is not having you. And so what happens is is that they're willing to do what it takes to keep you. So they're not going to do anything to shake up the waters to where you could say, fuck out of here. You see what I'm saying? So if she's willing to gamble with the situation, that means that she's not a hundred percent, 10 toes down in the situation. You see what I'm saying? Cause, cause, right. cause, cause essentially you could say, fuck, I, I, I'm not fucking with that. And then that means that sh- you can tell her no, which means she can lose the situation. But if she, if she doesn't re- if she's not, Afraid of losing the situation, that means she doesn't see that much value in the situation. You see what I mean? That's that's the that's the issue. Okay, okay, yeah, I definitely got you, and that makes sense mm. to you know why a lot of them were in it for a while, but right. I guess they didn't see uh, they saw enough of value value in me to be in it as long as they were, but not enough to stay in it. Exactly it right, and that and that's that's the thing that you got to understand is that, and that's just how it goes. So a lot of times, a woman's response is always going to tell you how she feels, how she views it, how she sees it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing that guys got to understand. A lot of times, women are telling you things. Without having to say it, their actions tell you everything you need to know. You see what I'm saying? That's all right. it is. And, and, and that's why I definitely like, you know, following you, man, because mm. it's opened my eyes to a lot of things that they were saying without saying. Right. It's like, ah, now I know what that means because Lucario and others, you know, talked about that. Right. And once you see it over and over again, it's just like, okay, you can almost see it coming. Right. Exactly. And, and, and that's the thing where a lot of times what confuses guys is they don't realize the response women are giving them is actually telling them something. So this is the thing where a a, a woman, see, and this is the funny part. If you notice, most guys 
that you see on the internet or guys talking about women, it's usually a complaint. It's usually, man, these Western women, blah, 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 blah. All that's really saying is, without them really noticing, is that the women are telling them, I don't see value in you. Because what happens is, is that when the woman sees value in you, it's the total opposite. Everything is super easy. You understand what I'm saying? It's super easy. Meaning that she makes it so extremely easy because the benefit she gets out of it, right? which is, you know, it's, it's benefiting her to get something out of that. But she sees that the benefit is so great that she has to make it easy in order for you to not say no. You understand what I'm saying? To order In order for, 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 for her to get you to be like, damn, well, I don't want this guy to say no, because if he says no, I'm not going to get these benefits. These benefits are so high to me that I want him to say yes. So I'm going to make it as easy as possible because women know, because this is the thing, women know when they give you a hard time. You understand? And this is why when guys chase women who are giving them a hard time, the women don't respect them because they're like, bro, don't you see I'm giving you a hard time and you still chasing me? You still trying to take me out? You still trying to fuck? And I basically showed you with my actions that I don't I'm like, I don't care about you. I'm not really feeling you like that. OK, you still chasing me. Cool. I'll use you for your money. I use it for your time. I use it for your attention. I'll let you run. You know, uh, I'll, I'll run circles around you. I'll let you jump through hoops. I'll let you do all of this shit. You see what I'm saying? But they're, they're doing that on purpose. Because they they understand that they don't really see value in you, so they don't really care if you if you go or not, but they see you keep coming at them. So they're like, you know what? I'll just, I'll use them. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take his money. I'll take his time. I'll take his energy. But the thing is, is that she makes it difficult because she doesn't care about losing you. When she cares about losing you, she makes it easy because she knows that making it difficult, right? She will lose a guy who is on point. See, Women don't lose guys usually when they're losers, meaning that when they're betas, when they're guys who ain't got no game, they could do whatever and the guy might still keep coming back. But when she finds a guy who's on point, she's like, shit, I can't play the same game with him because he might tell me to kick rocks. And I don't want him to tell me to kick rocks because this is the first time in a while I, f- I found the guy who's on point. So let me make it as easy as possible. I can't do what I'm doing with these other guys. I got to make it as easy as possible for this guy so that he realizes I'm ready to cooperate and submit. I'm ready to be submissive. I'm I'm ready to be a part of his mission. So if she's not trying to be a part of your mission, that means she's making it difficult, which means is that she's seeing you as like the other dudes. You see what I'm saying? So that's how it goes. Right. And that's what made me think with that girl coming back after a year plus Mm -hmm. saying, me saying, are you going to pay for her? Right. 510, put on on mute. 510, put yourself on mute. 510, put yourself on mute. 510, put yourself on mute. I got to remove him because he's acting crazy. All right, so go ahead. Go ahead, easy. My bad. Uh, I was saying, my gear with that girl that came back after a year plus mm. and me saying, um, you know, you're going to pay for the date. Oh, that's not how I roll because she's probably used to other guys being like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'll take you out. And mm. I was like, hell no. Nah. And I guess, you know, with that, it, that's where it, it seemed like she was like, oh, got mm. caught off guard with that because most guys probably were okay with doing that. Right. And I wasn't. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And that, that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Right. It but is as always, is. man, you know, I, I definitely, you know, really appreciate the time and information as always. That's what's up, man. Appreciate it. Call my brother. I'm going to holler right. at you, man. Peace, peace. All right. All right. So we got a monogamous player and then 408 after that. Monogamous player was popping. What's going on, bro? Yes, sir. Mr. McCarty, you all know that I donated. Uh, all right. That's Friday, what's up. Everybody. That's what's up. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, man, Mr. LaCardia, man, just going with the topic, right? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to start out by saying this, bro. You know, of course, there are exceptions to the rules, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But for the most part, these women are out here fucking, bro. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And being a a, a guy, and and that's the difference from a guy that has hella experience with women versus a guy that don't have hella experience with women, right? A guy that don't have hella experience with women, right? He's basing his total knowledge about women based off you know, a handful of women, right? Mm-hmm. When a guy that dealt with multiple women and, and, and been sending women through the vetting process and, and, and been out there, you know what I'm saying, doing doing the numbers game, right? He has 
not only experience the, the bad side, he also experienced the good side, right? Right. So when, when, whenever you have a rotation or whenever you out there playing the numbers thing, right? Guess what? It's, it's that's a good strategy because you that's that's really a balance mm-hmm. versus you only trying to focus on one girl because every girl that you talk to. Or, or, or that you give an opportunity to, right? Each and every time, every day, consistently, they have to measure up to the standard. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so to really, to be honest, like when I was out here and I had a rotation, every week, every girl was low key like erasing the next one or, right. or, or like eliminating the next one. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So, for example, like if I have a girl A, uh, and girl B, right? And I went on a date with them and we had sex and stuff like that. And we, and you know, they on point and they cooperate, right? Mm. But then this girl C's turn, right? But it's a different story. Why would I keep girl C around when girl A and B have, have already met the standard on this particular level, but she failed? Right. Because. So right. why would I give her another chance? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? For guys that don't mess with multiple women, they'll keep doing that and doing that, right? right. And then another thing about like these women, right? Guys got to understand this too, right? Because women love good conversation and women love attention, right? Mm. So watch out for the women that will keep the pussy away from you but act like they really like you. Right, and, and, exactly. And, and, and a lot of guys get sworn in because they don't have experience. So any interaction with a woman, they're thinking that, oh, that, that's a plus, that's a positive. Mm. But they don't realize that the woman is only benefiting from the attention, right? So of course, when I talk about girl A and girl B, right, they on point, they smash, they cooperate, right? But then I, I try to I try to put girl C in the door, right? Girl C be like, oh, I'm not trying to do that or whatever the case may be, right? But I still like you or whatever, right? Or mm. just try to still act like that's what it is, right? There's, there's real interest. Mm. But I would tell girls like that, I'm like, you really are not interested in me. Why do you say that? Well, I have these other girls that are that are interested in me, and they say they're interested in me, but their actions is showing it, right. and they're mm-hmm. cooperating. You're not cooperating, so if they're doing this for me, but you're not doing that, then what does that tell me? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, so the so, so the caveat to the game is yes, all girls are fucking, or most girls are fucking, but not every girl is going to smash you. But the objective to the game is to find the females that are going to smash you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got to keep playing that numbers game. Mm-hmm. But definitely, guys, watch out for the girls. Because I'm going to be honest, Miss Lucario, like when I was younger, say, I'm going to be honest, I'm a guy that likes to have a good conversation. You see what I'm saying? Right. So sometimes when I was younger, I used to sometimes put my foot in my mouth because before vetting the chick, I'm just vibing and having a good conversation. Mm. And I really realized that, okay, yeah, this girl, she just really soaking the attention up. Mm. Or she might like me, but she might like me on boyfriend material way. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's another thing, guys. There's nothing wrong with a girl liking you for boyfriend material because, you know, she sees value, you know what I'm saying, in that type of way, right? But it's a problem when she don't have the sexual attachment attached to it. Mm. I mean, the sexual attraction attached to it. That's the problem. When she only to see you boyfriend material, then that's all she wants. So she's going to keep sex away from you and make you wait and make you do the 90-day rule, like, on think like a man, like how... Exactly. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, the making good character did old, old dude. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? She wasn't necessarily sexually attracted to him like that. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? She was boyfriend attracted, whatever, however you want to say it, right? But then another thing with Ricardo, because I was watching your live stream, a little bit of your live stream today from last night, right? And you were talking about body count, right? right. And I actually uh, made a comment I put a comment or whatever, right? But I was also having a conversation with one of my colleagues or whatever, and we, you know, we talked, we chopped it up about women and stuff like that, right? But he was saying that, oh man, man, there's some, some girls out here that, that, you know, that have fucked 500 to 600 guys, right? Mm-hmm. And he was making it, you know, making it basically making body count be the issue, right? Mm-hmm. So I was just asking him a question. I was like, well, is, is that an issue or whatever? Now I was telling him, I was like, I, I could understand, I would kind of, have my radar up mm. because for me I'm like okay well what type of lifestyle is she's living right you know what I'm saying now if she's an escort or or she's you know that type of chick then you know what I'm saying that's you know like 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 that's that's the way I would look at body count into mm. like okay what's the type of lifestyle she's living mm. but she's just living a regular lifestyle and just doing her thing that's nothing wrong with it right so I kept on asking about his body count I was like hey is that an issue about body count or whatever so he was like man you know man these girls out here so I was asking I was like well what, what's the number that, that fits you right? right he said man I'm gonna be honest man like a girl can't smash no more than five oh I said God. five <laughs> these niggas. I was like man I can I, <laughs> I was like five. I can understand you feeling some type of way about six hundred or whatever. Which, to be honest, if a girl is doing that, she's probably living a certain type of lifestyle. Right. And you might not want to inter- intervene with that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But five. And I was trying to break it down to him. I was like, but we thirty two. Let's just say if a woman was smashing since she was seventeen. That's fifteen years, right? Let's just say that each year she dated two guys and she had sex with two guys. Mm. 15 times 2 is 30. Right. Something wrong with, oh, man, that's too much. Nah, bro, da, da, da. And, 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 and the comment that I left is, 
see, that lets me know that guys like that, and I'm not trying to talk about him, but I'm just talking about mm -hmm. just, just the mindset, right? Mm -hmm. That shows me that you don't have a vetting process. Mm -hmm. That just shows that you don't have a vetting process because you want, you want a girl to be a hoe for you, but you expect her not to live her life when she wasn't around you. Right. You see what I'm saying? But exactly. you want her to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, you might not be the guy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, if you get it, you get it. If you right. don't, you don't. You right. know what I'm saying? But these guys, they do that. But then at the same time, they don't realize, okay, what if you do smash, smash a girl or you do get in there with a girl that only has five body counts, right? But she's whacking dead and she don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So so would you rather have a girl that, that has a lack of a body count, but she could potentially, her sex can be, can be, can be potentially whack or the sex not necessarily whack, but y'all just not compatible like that. Right. Sexually. You know right. what I'm saying? Or in general. Mm -hmm. Or would you go for the girl that, regardless of the body count, y'all compatible, y'all cool? You see what I'm saying? Right. Or whatever the case may be. I'm going to be honest, Mr. Cario, most girls are at least smashed 30 and up. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've been having sex since your teenage years and you're in your late 20s and 30s or even your 40s, come on now. Well, that, well the thing saying? is, even the reason want, why, and you know what the problem is, again, the reason why guys think that is because it's their fucking, um, it's their their reality makes that believable so if a guy is like oh well if you have more than five that's believable for him because he's not the type of guy that has sex a lot so so in his wow. mind so in his mind well, this is what most of these guys think in his mind the only people who are having a lot of sex are guys who are like the chads and tyrones of the world and hoes right. those are the only two people that are having a bunch of sex everyone else is not so, so in his, in his, in his mind, if a woman had sex with, or a woman had sex with five or less, that's normal to him because in his mind, he think that that's how it's happening normally. And that's not really what it is in reality, but that's his reality because a lot of women that he talks to tells him, oh, I'm not the type of girl, or he tries to have sex with these women and they tell him, oh, well, you know, you got to get to know me. You got to go take me out on three dates. So his reality is people aren't having sex like that fast unless they're a hoe or unless they're a right. guy who's like really good looking or has looks money status whatever the fuck that other shit is you see what i'm saying right right and then and then another thing is Lucario, this in my opinion right i just feel like that i shouldn't really focus on body counts because mm. a body count don't say anything about anybody right so like because i mean if, if it's the same about women it's the same about men I just match a lot of women in the world, right? Does mm. that make me a bad person? Right. Or a hoe or, or mm. a guy that can't parabun? You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, have a, I have a woman and a, and a child and a foundation right now. Right. So what are we talking about? You mm. see what I'm saying? So uh, I think God should more more so focus on the lifestyle that a girl, you know, should, you know to pay attention to that and mm. character. Mm. Don't don't quit, don't quit. worry about the body count. Focus on the woman's character. Okay, right. if she's the type of woman that's compatible or if she's the type, you know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot, it is some hood rats out there. So mm -hmm. of course you don't want to smash a hood rat. You see what I'm saying? Unless you into that or whatever the case may be. But focus on a woman's character and then her lifestyle. Right. That will tell you everything that you need to know if you need to move forward or you need to deal with the situation wherever you need to take it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that's all I got, Mr. Lucario, man. Hey, thank you for the opportunity and uh, have a great weekend. That's what's up. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, let's go to uh, four four eight zero four. I mean four zero eight four zero eight. What's popping? Who this? Four zero eight. Four zero eight going once. Four zero eight going twice. All right, four zero eight, you got to call back. All right, call back four zero eight. All right, so guys, call the number six four six four eight one three nine zero one six four six four eight one three nine zero one. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat, and we will get to your question. Oh, I think it was four zero eight trying to call back. All right, hold on, let me get it in a second. Yo, yo, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on? You can you hear me? Hello? Yo, can you hear me? 408. Can you hear me? Yo, 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 yo. 408. All right, you got a call back. Hold on. It looked like it was buffering or something. That was weird. Um, but yeah, call back 408, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to see if we can get you on the joints. I don't know why the phone's acting funny style right now. Um, so, yeah, so let me get some of these questions. So is it possible for a woman to be deep in love with a man? Absolutely. Of course. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. All right. Let me try 408 one more time. 
All right, hold on. Give me one second. Let me get them on on here real quick. All right. So uh four zero eight, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yo, you hear me? You. Yo. Four zero eight, can you hear me? What is going on with the with the phone line? Is it is it is it me or is it him? I don't know. All right, somebody else try to call up. Maybe maybe it's four zero eight's phone line is uh crazy or whatever. I think that was happening yesterday, but you know, when I called in, I could hear everything. So I don't know what is going on with certain people's phone lines and shit. All right, let me get some more of these questions real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the questions at? All right. So this says, um, how do you know the difference between a biatch that is low interest ghosting you and a biatch that thinks you're too good for her that ghosts you? Well, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter. You. You. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Is this able? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so maybe the phone lines is crazy. Let me let me let me redo the phone lines. I don't know what's going on. All right, let me um let me put up the phone lines again. Hold on one second. All right, the phone lines is back on. So guys, call back. And let me see if, if, if we could get it cracking. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. So, Chris, to answer the question, um, what happens is, is that you know the difference based off of how the interaction was. So if you were in a situation where the chick is basically, um, you know, playing games and doing all that other goofy shit, then it's probably low interest. Um, all right. So let me try to get 408 back on and see if this will work. Try calling back. All right, four zero eight. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Four zero eight. All right, his his phone cut off again. I don't know what's going on with the phone lines today. This is like fucking weird. I don't know what's going on with the goddamn phone lines, but um, the phone lines is up. So guys, call in see if see if it'll if it'll go through because I I just turn it off and turn it back on. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. Um, let me get some more of these questions real quick. Says if a chick has high interest, how would you go about telling her you want to smash after the first date? Should you tell her before or after the the date is done? Well, it's the thing. If she has high interest in you and you tell her that you want to smash, she's going to smash. It doesn't matter if you tell her before or after in the middle of all that other shit. She's going to want to do it. You see what I'm saying? She's going to want to do it. So you ain't got to worry about that shit. But um, but oh, let me get the, the last two things. I didn't I didn't go to the last two things on the list. Well, let me try uh to get back on. Hold on one second. Um, a five is this is this April? No, no, I'm just calling in to help you test the phone line. Okay, can you can you hear me though? I can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, cool, cool. So it's so it's good. All right. Well, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Hey, no problem. All right. So let me uh let me try to go to um yes, guys, call in. So it looks like the phone lines is good. All right, let me try to get 973 on the joint real quick. Yo, Lucario, you can hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. No, no, no. I was just saying that the phone lines are working. Okay, right? all right, cool. I, I, I can got hear you, you, though. Got you, got you. I appreciate it, bro. I just want to make sure. So I don't know. Maybe it was... Uh, I know that. I appreciate it. So yeah, maybe it's 408's phone. I don't know. So the phone lines is working, people. So I don't know what to tell you. All right, so let me get to the last two real quick so I don't forget because I'll end up fucking forgetting this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, oh, all right, so... Hold on, nine nine five one nine five one. Because I'll end up fucking forgetting this shit. Hold on, let me let me cut him off real quick. All right, so let me get back to this thing real quick. So last two real quick before I forget, before I take any other calls. So we are we up to number, we're up to number uh four, right? 
Up to number four. So so nine 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 five one. Hold on. Six six one four. Hold take, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Six one four. Hold on for a second. Six one four. Hold on for a second. All right. So um, I'm gonna get to the last two so we can get to some more calls, right? So number I'm gonna go through what through them again. So number one was she brings up having sex before the first date. Number two is she randomly hits you up after you've been trying to get at her for a while. Number three is she tries to shame you for bringing up sex. Now, number four, the fourth uh, sign you're never going to have sex is she tells you that she's celibate, right? Now, that woman could actually be trying to be celibate, but she won't tell you that she's being celibate if she wants to have sex with you. Now, you understand what I'm saying? That woman could actually be so, trying to be celibate, hold on, this but nigga. she won't tell you. My bad. So what happens is, is that she's not going to tell you that she wants to be celibate. You understand? Like, she's not going to actually say this to you. She will keep that to herself. You know what I'm saying? A four, eight, uh, put yourself on hold, right? So that's number four. Now, the last thing that sign that you're never going to have, hold on, four, eight, can you hear me? Yeah, I can't hear anything. Yo, four, eight, so, it's something it's some wrong with you. I just want to say, appreciate all the game that you did, and uh, I donated Oh, that's what's up, man. I appreciate it. I don't know why I don't know why you can't hear me because the other people is calling and hearing me. But I appreciate you 408. Um, but yeah, so the last thing on the list, and we're gonna get some more calls. So six six one four, stay on the line. Last one we got on the list is when a woman is telling you, right? And this could be like on a date or whatever, she's telling you that she's tired of men just wanting sex. So if you're on a date with a girl and y'all are having a conversation. And then let's say again, into the conversation of dating or relationships, whatever, or just any type of conversation she brings up, you know, I'm tired of men just wanting sex. Basically, that's a way for her to tell you she's not trying to have sex with you, because what she expects you to do is to sort of not bring up sex or talk about sex or be sexual with her because she just said she's tired of it. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is that that's sort of a low key manipulation tactic for her to sort of throw you off so that you don't be sexual with her. And she doesn't want you to be sexual with her because she's not trying to have sex with you. All right. So now six, six, one, four, six, one, four was popping. Who it is? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can. Hello. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? Yeah. What's going on with you? Hey, what's up? Um, first things first, I gotta let you know, uh, the link for the donating on PayPal, uh, it's not really working in the chat. And I can't send in super chats for some reason as well. Oh yeah, we don't got super chats on this co- on this channel, but you said so you said the uh, the donate link for PayPal is not working? Yeah. Oh, that's, um that's I can't weird. click it for some reason. Okay, well don't worry about it. So what's what's going on with you? What's going on with you? We'll we'll figure it out later. What's going um, on? So- so my question is, I bought tickets, to, I bought live stream tickets to the, um, the Game King seminar, yeah? Mm, right. And um, because I'm overseas and the, like the timing, I will be, I'll, be at, I'll be at work, so I won't be able to watch the seminar. Mm. So my question is, because I bought live stream tickets, was, is, will I be able to, will it be like recorded? Like I could like watch it like later? Yeah, like sure, yeah, it's supposed to, over, yeah, it's, yeah, it's supposed to, it's going to be recorded. So if you miss it, we'll be able to just send it to you. You should be able to watch it later because it's going to be recorded on like the, the, you know, their servers and all that other stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then, so do I have to like email you for that? Like, um, I guess for that, for that later downloaded link or yeah, yeah, will just, it just automatically yeah, come? No, nah, just email me and then I'll send you the, the information. All right. Oh, snap. All right. Done deal, bro. All right, bro. all right, man. I'm out at you. All right. All right. So guys, try to call back. Uh six four six four eight one three nine zero one. I don't know why it's working for some people's phones and not for others. That's a weird, that's weird as fuck. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? That's weird as fuck. I have no idea why it's doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's because you can see some people can hear, some people for some for some reason can't. I don't know what's going on. Um it says, is it needy if if what I want from a woman is for her to text me back in less than 10 minutes. Um, yeah. Why do you, why do you care about her texting you back in less than 10 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're in a situation where a text needs to be timely, that's another thing, because if you're trying to set something up, that's one thing, but you know, you shouldn't be worried too much about it because again, if you text in a girl, some shit, 
to, let's say, for example, send up a date because that's really the only reason you need to be texting her. So you, you text her that stuff. And then let's say she takes fucking, you know, two days to get back to you. Then that's showing the type of interest she has in you. You understand? Because chicks is on their phone all day. So if she takes that long to get back to you, then that just shows you her level of interest. So does that also apply to women who constantly reschedule dates uh, without picking um, a date? I, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking, what re- applies. So you got to, you know, uh, rephrase the question. So uh, Raymond, rephrase that and then I'll get to that. Says so what's what's a good bid to put in person if um, you only trying to fuck? Because I'm a guy, I'm a young guy and horny and talking about anything else would be lying to myself and her. Bro, you just need to let her know what it is. And then you find the women who are receptive to that and that's it. But I think it's a monogamous play. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. LaCario, I just thought about something, man. Right. Uh, and here's a good point that I just want to make, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it goes with the topic about like, you know, girls want to have sex and stuff like that, right? But right. you remember on Think Like a Man, right? Mm-hmm. You remember, you know, the whole Megan Good character. You remember she had sex with Chris Brown first, right? Right. And they made it seem like, oh, after that one time, that is when she wanted to switch it up and be like, I'm going to make niggas wait and do this mm. and do that, right? Mm. So they tried to trick us men into thinking that, like, oh, okay, like, she just made that that switch and then she would just so hard stern on it. Any guy after that would have had to, you know, right. abide by that if they mm-hmm. want to fuck with him, right? But, Miss Lucario, that, that's misleading. You know, in real life, right? In a real situation, most likely the maiden good, if this was a real situation, she might have definitely made that type of stance even before the Chris Brown character right. came into it, right? Exactly. She probably been, how you doing, sir? How you doing? How you doing? She probably been felt, felt like that. But guess what? Those rules didn't apply to Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So don't, so as I say, what, what I'm trying to say is, guys, when girls say that they not, uh, they not fucking and da-da-da, they only saying that they don't want to smash you. Right. That don't mean that they're not fucking. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Or they could be on the on the on the on the boyfriend wave and be dating and stuff like that. But trust me, the, the men that they really are attracted to, they gonna they gonna do that. Because mm-hmm. why not? You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to point that out. Like they, the movie tried to make it seem like she made that stance then, but she probably been made that stance. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But the stance didn't abide to Chris Brown. Right. And that and that's and that's really what did. a lot of guys don't get. They always think that when a woman says these things, that that means what it is. No, it means that for you. You understand? That means right. that. So, oh, well, I'm not fucking, I'm celibate, I'm doing, all of that is for you. It's not how she actually is. And that's what guys, see, this, this is, and, and that's the problem with a lot of dudes. Dudes love to take what chicks do at face value. You understand what I'm right. saying? And so even that uh, applies to the body count. So they'll, they'll be like, oh, well, the girl has a high body count, so then this means this. Or this girl says this, so then that means that. And it's like, no, y'all don't, y'all don't really understand what's going on out here. Right. Crazy. Right, right. Because because think about it, Mr. McCarty, this is just even to the point one more time, right? One one bad, it's not even a bad experience, but one experience where a girl really liked a guy and she goes to him, I mean, she, he goes to her, right? Mm. She's not just going to make that stance right then and there. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's more unlikely versus a woman that been having that happening to her then she made that stand. Mm-hmm. Right. So they even go with some more to that. Like that she probably been made that stand. Mm-hmm. Or the average girl in that situation would have been made that stand. Right. But that's not gonna stop the sexually attractive guys that they want. And you see, that probably was a one night stand with Chris Brown. He didn't mm-hmm. have to do all that coating and this and that and opening up the door and all that type of shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. come on. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I wanted to point out, Mr. Carter. Thank you. That's what I appreciate the call, brother. All right. Uh seven seven three. What's popping? Who this? Love to hear me. Yes, sir. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Macario? It's Kelly Moore. Kelly what's Moore up, in the building. What's going on, fam? How you been? Pretty good, bro. How about yourself? Um, Chilling. Uh, yeah. Hey, Macario, uh, I know you just wanted me to call up to make sure the phone lasts working. Okay. That's the real reason why I called up, because I know you said this shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's good. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think for for like a minute, it was probably some with the internet that was acting weird, but nah, it's, it's all good now, because I'm, you know, people are hearing the calls and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. All right, mm. yeah, that's all I want to do. Oh, and one more question, Lucario. Mm. Uh, one more question, Lucario, because uh, I'm about to renew my membership, too, because, like, I've been so focused on, you know, playing over here in Brazil, playing mm. football overseas and shit. Mm. Uh, I think the uh, the subscription link, I'm not sure if it's working, because I'm on it right now, but, like, it keeps going to your, it, it, the PayPal keeps going to your uh, donation link. I don't know it's separate. 
So you saying what you saying what on. what's not what's not working? The subscription. Or for what? Reason. From where? Uh, tr- to trying to renew the membership, basically. Really? So what? You mean when you go on the Bad Boy membership page, it's not taking you to 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 join? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's I'm trying weird. to figure it out right now, basically. That is weird. Yeah. Hold on, let me see. I mean, I, I I'll, I'll probably have to look at it after the uh the the stream and shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe too many people's trying to get on it or whatever. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah, but. The- but um, but, but yeah, yeah, that's all I want to call. I know you say you want to get uh get make sure phone lines work and make sure. It's, uh, I'll keep trying. Okay, you know, cool, um, cool. I'm just trying to renew my shit. I've been on it, but like I'll just keep trying. Maybe it's my end or some shit. If you go to the PayPal, you know there's two separate pages, and like you know, uh, I'm not sure if sitting in the do the donation and the subscription was the same thing. I was sure. Okay, well yeah, I'll double I'll double check it after after the show and shit. All right. Okay. All right. All right appreciate it. You. Appreciate it. All right. Cool. 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 All right, so guys, if you're on a call up, call up. I'm um, gonna do probably another 15 more minutes, and then I gotta wrap it up because I gotta go and fix up all of this stuff on the back end. You feel what I'm saying? So let me see what's up with more of these questions real quick. Um, hold on. So, how do you train yourself to let go of anything? Uh, basically, don't be attached to any situation. Or any person, anything, any circumstance, just you know, just be and just chill. And it's it's you know, it's hard for people to do because you get caught up in your head a lot. But it's just making sure you're just centered in the in the you know the present moment. You'll be you'll be fine. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so it says, what do you do if you and your baby mama are friends? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, when you when you get game, can that take you out the friend zone? What is the thing? Um, if your game is tight, you won't get in no friend zone. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And if you're in the friend zone, if you have tight game, you're not going to be worried about getting out the friend zone because you're not going to be worried about trying to get that gr- particular girl. You just fucking move on and, and holler at another chick. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so it says, Shout out to ARC, but aren't the majority of women he seduces low uh, to medium interest? Wouldn't it make sense to learn seduction since you'll run into more than uh, more than high um, interested women? Well, that's the thing. You only need to seduce women who are medium interest or low interest, right? When a woman is high interest, you don't have to seduce her. You just have to maintain, meaning that you don't do shit or say shit or make shit happen that like sort of kills the situation, Right. Um, but what happens is, is that, yeah, you can, you can, uh, seduce those women, but you still have to put more time in, you feel what I'm saying? And then what happens is, is that, see, this, there's a balance. See, either you're going to meet a woman who has medium interest in you and spend a lot of time trying to fuck with her. And then there's a chance you'll get her and a chance you won't, or you put in more time on the front and finding women who have high interest in you. So you gotta, you gotta pick your poison. You see what I'm saying? So you can say, okay, either I'm going to, uh, you know, find this woman, try to seduce her and then spend time doing that. Right. Or take the time to spend finding the high interest woman. So you don't have to seduce. Right. So you just got to pick whatever situation that you want to go in. You see what I'm saying? Um, hold on. Let me see. It says, is it possible to get a woman addicted, uh, to you? Um, yeah, absolutely. But you know, you got to be able to handle that shit. If it happens, uh, best way to tell a woman you want to hook up after the first date. Uh, if she has high interest, you text her and tell her that's it, bro. Like you, you just asked this question early, <laughs> bro. You text her, say, yo, listen, I had a really great time. Uh, I want to get together with you next week. I want you to come over to my house and I want to get you naked, bring you into my room, fuck the shit out of you. However you want to basically tell her that's it. It's not, yeah, yeah, act like there's something special that you need to say or do to let a chick know you're interested in, in having sex with her. The problem is, is that y'all are scared of women saying no. Y'all are scared of women saying, oh, well, you know, uh, like I'm not interested, or you're scared of her having some sort of attitude with it, or whatever the fuck it is. You understand what I'm saying? So that's that's what that is. But um, but guys, yeah, you can guys can call in. Call in number is 646-481-3901. 646-481-3901 is the number. And remember, guys, make sure that you guys uh get up on the bad boy membership and the masculine identity membership. I'm about to change the price. 
uh, in the next hour. So you guys have a little bit more time. You feel what I'm saying? To make that happen. Um, but um, but yeah, guys, make sure you guys go get that. Go to the masculine identity membership to make that shit happen. Also, make sure you guys go get tickets to the Game Kings 2 seminar definition of a man. <laughs> seminar, make sure you guys go get that shit cracking. It is happening this Sunday in New York City, April 2nd, 2023. Make sure you guys get your tickets ASAP. Myself, Miles Cunningham, Taekwondo Rumbles, and Kerry K. Zagan is going to be in the motherfucking building. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys go and get that shit cracking. All right. All right. So Hold on, I think we basically uh, we're done with the questions and shit. Hold on, I'll say another question. It says, will you ever do a bad boy membership about getting over women saying no, meaning not being uh, afraid of hearing it? I mean, I could probably, yeah, I could probably definitely do um, something specific to that. You, you understand what I'm saying? And make that, make that happen. You feel what I mean? And we could get that shit cracking. All right, so I see, I see Kelly Moore worked on the, on a joint. I see that you just got it to work. Okay, that's what's up. Um, but yeah, that's the thing is that a lot of it is really just getting used to, right. That it's supposed to happen. You understand? It's supposed to happen that a woman says no, because you don't really want every woman saying yes. You understand what I'm saying? So, (laughs) so make sure that you understand that that's part of the game. That's what makes you get through it. That's what makes you not worry about it is that it's supposed to happen. You see what I'm saying? That it's supposed to happen. Don't worry about that. You'll be, you'll be fine. It's it's part of the game. You feel what I'm saying? It is part of the motherfucking game. Um, let me see what else questions we got. He said the live ticket is also with Q and a, do you have an agenda for the event and the, the live ticket stream? Um, well, the thing is, I think, it's, are we doing the Q and a with the live part portion? I, I can't even remember. I got to look at the, the, um, the information on the ticket again, but I, th- I think it's supposed to be also, I'm, I'm not sure if the live, the, the Q and a is strictly for the people there, or if it's also going to be on a live stream too. I think it might be on the live stream too, but I got to double check and get back with you with all that information. Cause miles is actually the one who's organizing all that stuff. So he's the one that knows all of the specific details. I'm literally just showing up and speaking. <laughs> so he's he's running that whole show. Um, hold on, let me get this uh this this um question real quick. Or I mean this phone call. Uh 832, 832, what's popping? Who's this? Hey, can you hear me, Macario? Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, nothing, man. Appreciate you. Uh, I donated to um to Miles situation because um I think you're hash on Smith. But um, mm-hmm. it was showing like one catch on Smith too, and like I don't want them running for long. Okay, person, no problem. So. Yeah. So what's what's problem with you though? Man, just chilling, man. Have a great day, man. Uh, man, I was listening to your uh, I think it was either yesterday or today another video about mm-hmm. uh, the, the body count, man. I was thinking like, um, I think guys be worried about the body count for one reason because they trying to go wrong these women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's another reason too. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these dudes. <laughs> Be trying to go in raw with all these chicks is crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. like trying to go in raw and you know worried about you know how many you know guys you had sex with, and I understand that mm-hmm. you know uh, it can you know it can make you think a certain way. But if you're just trying to smash, right? And um, you know you have a certain preference and certain code, I get it. But mm-hmm. like you know, just to find why you would smash it because the account is 20. I mean, a girl can lie to you. I, I feel like a girl with good game mm. will fuck a dude head up <laughs> and mm. have him thinking that, you know, I only had sex with two guys or I'm a virgin. Right. And being a, and playing the good girl role. I think a lot of guys are so focused on her body count. A girl can still lie to you mm. and make it seem like she don't have a high count and she don't know what she's doing. And right. it hurts because I never wrote big, like this before. And I'm like, guys would just never know, man. Mm-hmm. But it's just, it's just interesting, man. Right. Yes, it's crazy. It's crazy how that happens and crazy how it works because, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these dudes, you know, uh-huh. have been have been uh, like sort of conditioned 
to think that women don't like sex. And and part of it, part of it too is is women also like sort of participating in that conditioning. Meaning they yeah. they they deal with guys for attention. So in order to deal with a guy with for attention, you have to make him think that mm-hmm. oh I'm I'm different. I'm not like these hoes out here. I don't I don't you know I don't have sex like that. I'm you know like so these guys start to yeah. think that this is how it is, but they don't really understand it. Just they're just getting used for attention. It's crazy. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely, man. I, I was thinking like, man, I was gonna start a, a, a YouTube channel mm-hmm. and like kind of like not not pander to the guys that think like that because I know mm-hmm. y'all will probably chop my ass up for even <laughs> like having a YouTube channel that's trying to like say, hey guys, I know, man, you know these girls they got these body counts. Mm-hmm. How about we all just you know not pay money to go on restaurant dates. Right. How about, you know, I, I was like, damn, man, I could probably make a killing. Right. You know, just like talking to that group of guys that are anti uh, body counts, anti tongue piercing. Mm. <laughs> and right. uh, all that other shit, man. But it is cool, man. Hey, keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, at the end of the day, I know a lot of guys mm. talk about, well, LaCroix got a lot of views and a lot of uh, subscribers that mm. the other guys. At the end of the day, what people don't understand is the underground, the independent route, it's not that watered down, glossy ass bullshit, mm-hmm. man. That real shit, it, it fucks with the, the matrix. Right. It, it, it kind of don't really get out like that. Mm-hmm. But the real fuck with it, though. That's why right. it's it, it, like that dude, uh, like the dude, uh, Andre Taylor, he fucks with a remnant, mm-hmm. you know? And this is real shit. This is real shit. Right. Now right, that's what's up, bro, man. Well, I appreciate the call, my brother. All right. No doubt. I'm going to holler at you. All peace, right. peace. Yes, sir. All right. So let me uh, let me see what other question. Of, yeah, Oak Town's finest. Hit me up. He said, after you set up a date online and you tell the chick you want her to text you her number so you can uh, con- uh, confirm, so you can reconfirm the day of the date, how long should, how long you give her to text your uh phone before you charge her okay so you're saying that uh you texted you you wanted to text your number well this is the thing um if you you can basically tell her to went to text like yo text me right now you understand what i'm saying or hit me up but the thing is this um is that if she doesn't text you the number right before the time when you got to confirm then she's charged you understand? Because she's not really doing what you're saying, which is showing that she has low interest in actually making something happen. Because if you tell her to hit you up or you tell her to text you her information, she's going to text you the information if she's interested. So if she's not at all, then you know what it is. You see what I'm saying? So as long as she texts you, like if you don't tell her when to text you, then she's going to text you whenever. Right. But it's so you have to say, okay, let me tell her I want her to text me right now so I can send her the information or I can text me right now so I can hit you up later on. So if you tell her to text me right now and if she doesn't, then that's one thing. But if you just tell her to text you and then she texts you like, you know, a few hours before you're supposed to confirm, then it is what it is because you didn't give her a direct, you know, like order to text you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But as long as she does text you before the situation is supposed to go down, right? It is what it is. Usually a lot of times I don't even this time you don't even need to really get her information. You can just keep it on the app. The only time I like to get her information sometimes is because once in a blue moon, the app be glitching. So, you know, you want to make sure that you you have her information. But um, either way, as long as she texts you in a, in a timely manner so that you can confirm the date, then it's all good. He said, how to be ruthless when charging a girl. I told a girl I have been seeing for four months. We won't be seeing each other anymore because we're not compatible. She's always trying to do, make things her way. Well, just tell her you ain't trying to see her. Then it's over. You ain't got to like do more than that. As long as, you know, just let her know what it is and then keep it pushing. You don't got to make a fucking, um, uh, you know, uh, what you call it? <laughs> like a fucking event out of it and shit. You said, and now she's trying to fix things. She even apologized about all the shit she did wrong without uh, me asking for anything. I'm the type not to care, but I feel bad for her because I am the shit. Bro, just nigga, (laughs) just just keep that shit moving, bro. Just keep that shit moving. And that's it. 
All right, so guys, listen, I'm about to wrap it up because I got to uh, get ready for all of the stuff for the seminar. I got to get ready to switch up the the um, the prices and all the other stuff on the memberships. So guys, make sure that you go and get tickets, people. Please get these fucking tickets. I'm telling you, if you miss out on this, you are, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. The shit's going to be fire. Okay? Fire. Okay? So make sure you guys go get tickets. Um, you know, stream, get the streaming tickets. If you're not in New York City, it's going down in two days, Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. It is going down. Game Kings 2, the definition of a man seminar. Myself, Miles Cunningham, Taekwondo, Ron Wills, and Kerry K. Zagan is going to be in the motherfucking building. Okay? Shit is going to be crazy. Shit is going to be fucking crazy. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. And, um, you know, make sure you guys get up on those things. Get the tickets. Get the seminar. Uh, we get the, the, the memberships. Um, also get up on the Patreon. The Patreon's fire. If you're not on the Bad Boy Show or checking out the Bad Boy Show, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You feel what I'm saying? But make sure you get up on all those things. You feel me? And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm going. I'm out. When it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. So first, you're going to have to find discipline within yourself. Do you have that type of discipline? Do you even have the heart to be ruthless? Women need leadership. It is in their nature to seek out leadership. You know, you can't do a 99 because all that's part of a man. You got to do a 100. Apparently, these women out here having sex with somebody. Apparently, they're getting pregnant with somebody. <laughs> Shoot, somebody getting some. You should look at something like hypergamy and allow it to inspire you to always be evolving, getting better, expanding, developing. There are things you know, the things you don't know. Then there are things you don't know you don't even know. There can be 10 of us in one room, and there's one question, and there's 10 correct answers, all different.